Hi guys! So today I wanted to share with you my June favorites. I'm sorry this is up a little bit late. I'm not gonna lie, I have been using a lot of the same things over and over again. So what I wanted to do for today was show you some new things that I've been liking. I think I'm gonna start off with hair since you can kind of already see these two just like sitting here. These are the Aveeno Pure Renewal Conditioner and Shampoo. I found these two at the drugstore and uh, there were replacements for my Tresemme Natural Shampoo and Conditioner, which I ran out of that I love very much, but I wanted to try something new because I like trying new things. And I happen to really, really like these two. It makes my hair feel super soft. It has no sulfates in it. So far, I think um, these work really well for dry, curly hair, which is my hair type. Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. And it's got argan oil. Yeah, I actually use it when I style my hair straight too. And it's just crazy how soft and shiny and frizz free my hair is. I'm just like completely amazed after I use this. So um, yeah, new favorite leave-in conditioner right here. This is my new favorite primer right now. It's from Benefit. It's called Stay Flawless. I knew that. Basically, it's like a glue stick that you twist up and rub all over your face. It's actually kind of fun in the morning. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. if you do get this, I would recommend if you're like a germ phobe, bacteria phobe, to get like a paper towel with a little bit of alcohol on it, wipe it off really quick so that you don't get a buildup of bacteria. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. It's just a foundation, and I like this because it's like a drugstore dupe, in my opinion, for the Makeup Forever HD foundation. It works for oily skin, so I've heard, but for dry skin, if you want a foundation that's cheap, gives you good coverage, and lasts a long time, but still gives you that like hydrated, warm glow, definitely try this one right here. Next, we have the Physicians Formula Conceal RX Concealer. Just bought this the other day and I fell in love with it because if you guys like MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, then you will absolutely love this one. It is literally the drugstore dupe for that concealer, which I used for years and I loved it. But every single time I ran out, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like I have to buy a new one. And it can get kind of pricey, even though it does last you a long time, just that little bottle. It does get kind of pricey, and this one is pretty much the exact same thing, except cheaper, and it'll probably last you just as long. I use my ring finger, and I blend it out, and then I start applying it onto my face, like in a triangle shape. I'll do a video soon about how I contour and highlight, but I do that high, uh, bleh, <laughs> I do that triangle shape like this. It covers everything and it lasts a really, really long time. And I get mine in fair light. So, if you haven't tried this concealer out, I definitely would recommend trying it, even though I say that after everything. All of my favorites, I'm like, by the way, you guys should try this. These are going to probably be surprising to you guys. I don't know if any of you have heard of the fact that Origins has eyeshadows. It's a brightening cream eyeshadow. And it looks like this. It's purpley, taupey, and I use these as bases, but you could also just like throw these on really quickly as an eyeshadow and put some mascara on and then go out the door. But I like these because they last really long. They're just like the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoos. In my opinion, they're a little bit more creamy and silky feeling. They blend out really well. This one is in purple 05. This one is the Ginseng Brightening Cream Eyeshadow in 06 Coffee Buzz, which I have on right now, and I just threw it on the lid and I dark colored in the crease and then I put it on the lower lash line too. And seriously, it just looks awesome. It definitely makes your eyes look brighter. It gives them more dimension and color and I think that these two eyeshadows would probably work really well for any eye color. So yeah, love these. I've been loving these NYX stick blushes. I actually use them for two purposes. I do love using them as blush and I just pop the cap off and then you dab your finger on it. I would just dab one finger because these are crazy pigmented. I just dab one finger on it and then dab it onto my cheeks and it blends in like seamlessly. It looks like your face just already had blush on it. Like it looks like it was just supposed to be there. You know what I mean? I actually have this one on today with a little bit of pink gloss over it. And you just go like this, like it's a lipstick and um, it gives you a nice flush of color to your lips but it doesn't look as dramatic as a lipstick would, which is why I like it. This one is the NYX Stick Blush in Orchid 06. This is a great one for summer because it has a little bit of sheen to it. It's like the NARS Orgasm Blush in stick form. 
And then this one's Tea Rose, which I used in my waterproof makeup tutorial, if you guys remember. And that's what that one looks like. This is the Master Drama Eye Studio Eyeliner in Bold Brown by Maybelline. Literally have been using this. Okay, every single time, if you guys watch our daily vlogs, every single time you see eyeliner under here, it's this one. I don't even use black eyeliner anymore under my, like on my waterline because it looks really harsh, especially for summer. I like using brown. It looks more natural. So this has been my go-to waterline eyeliner right here. It lasts a long time. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. This is the Benefit bronzer called Hoola. As you can tell, I absolutely love it and I use it way too much. But it matches my skin perfectly. It just gives me a nice matte bronze. And I throw it on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, um, my forehead, my chin, all that good stuff. And it doesn't look like I purposely put bronzer on. It just looks like my face was supposed to be that way, if you know what I mean. It looks really natural, that's the word. It looks really natural. So that's why I love this one. If you guys have fair skin tone like me, give this one a try, I think you'll like it. Okay, so for brushes, really have only been using these besides eyeshadow brushes. I actually dab my foundation on with this egg. I forgot what it's called, a beauty ball? Beauty blender, yeah, it's a beauty blender. And I'll wet it first, scrunch out the water, and then I put my foundation on my hand, dab it onto the foundation, and then I just dab it onto my face. And it gives me a more natural look, and it also doesn't make my foundation look cakey. Because sometimes when I apply foundation on with a brush, um, I tend to not blend it out as much because I want it to cover really well, and then it starts looking cakey. So I like using this because it covers everything the way I want it to, but it blends it out really nicely so it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, so I just pat it on my face like this. And then this is the best bronzer slash brush blush I've brush blush brush I've ever used. It is called the blush brush from Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman here on YouTube. And I use it for bronzer like this. I'll just dip it in my hula bronzer and you know sometimes get carried away a little bit too much but I'll put it on my cheekbones like that, a little bit on my chin, nose temples, forehead, everywhere. I am super into berry lipsticks right now, anything that has a really warm red tone to it. And my favorite would have to be the NYX blush, which is in Tea Rose that I was telling you guys about earlier. That's what I mostly use all the time, but if I feel like using a lipstick instead, I will go for this Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in 001 Pink Truffle. Sorry, my camera's about to die. Hold on! But it's not pink at all. I don't know why they call it a pink truffle. Berry color, I think. And then I also have this one from L'Oreal. This is the Color Riche Lipstick in 174 Rose Tefita. This one's a little bit more lighter, not as thick, I guess you would say, as the Color Burst, but it still has a really pretty berry color to it. This is from Nivea. It's Raspberry Rose Kiss. It's just a lip balm. I just use a little bit, blend it onto my lips, and then it gives me a nice glow onto my lips, makes them feel moisturized, and it's basically just like a chapstick. So that is it for my makeup favorites. And then lastly, for songs. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite song. It's called Give Me Love by Ed Sheeran. I think that's how you say his name. I'm gonna sing it for you guys. I just wanna hold you. Give a little time to me. I'm gonna miss out. We'll play hide and seek to turn this around. All I want is the taste that your lips allow. My night, my night. Oh, give me love, 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 my night, my night. Okay, <laughs> that's my favorite part. My, 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 my. But yeah, so that's that song. And then I, I do have one by Bridget Mendler that I would love to sing for you guys too, if you don't mind. It's called Gold, or All I See Is Gold. There we go. Oh God, I'm falling. That's who your own device is. A master of disguises. That nice surprising. It's like your mind is. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's it for my favorite songs. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my silly singing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more videos from me. I'll have the link like over there or something if you wanted to subscribe. And down here, I have where you can follow me, which is Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, so go follow me on all those places too if you guys want updates daily. Also, Matt and I upload vlogs every single day of our lives for you guys to come and see. So go watch it. Make sure you check out our channel. Subscribe, like our videos, leave us comments. We love talking to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!